Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. A little tired this evening. Uh, I'm driving about seven hours. Went down in the casino out there in Cherokee, North Carolina. Spent a little bit of money, not too much, but uh, got to meet old, uh, old Steve and Jason from the Ghost Hunters crew, old Taps there. I've always enjoyed watching all that paranormal stuff on the TV there, so pretty interesting to meet those two fellows, man. Shake their hands, get a picture with them. So I had a pretty good day, thought I'd come back and do a video. This is a uh, 21446 Class C driver from my buddy Mr. Mud Slinger. 334, I believe, is his numbers. If I remember correctly, if, if it isn't, uh, I know you'll forgive me. <laughs> and uh, this is a driver for the uh, 8 transistor box that I've done for him. Thought it'd be neat to have a little matching driver. I think he was going to be using a uh, big 300 plus bird watt Dave made three with it. I told him, ah, I might want to get something a little small. <laughs> but uh, we went ahead and equipped this uh, thing with a sideband switch back here in the back. Just a real quick access here. Sideband switch. Okay. Another thing we went ahead and did, since the uh, 8 transistor amp has a remote jack, and also I built him a custom y moat for it, just in case he needs to use a remote for this amplifier, I went ahead and put him a mini remote jack in the back, okay? And that's what I've got plugged up just for demonstration purposes. You got just a little test here, just it's just a regular old uh, small stereo plug and going to a switch. Okay, but this is three uh, three wires, so it, it does have a ground as well for an LED if you want to make yourself a remote. I think I'm going to go ahead and be nice and make them a little remote and send it with them. Mr. Mud Slinger drove all the way down here from from uh, where he's at out there, uh, around the Pennsylvania area, so I think I'll make him a little wire remote, man. I don't know, it was a long drive for that fella. <laughs> He's already coming down here, but still, he had to probably go about an hour out of his way. But anyway, man, uh, did a real good job on this. My my buddy, uh, my apprentice, Mister Four Zero Nine Mud Duck, man, he uh, he done a whole lot of work to this. While I was working on something else, I'm always gonna give credit where credit's given. So he had a pretty big part in this right here. I came through, finished it up, and, you know, got a couple of kinks out of it, got her up and rolling, man. And uh, another thing I went ahead and done for you, because I know you probably might be running this on a power supply with that aid, is I went ahead and regulated the fan for you. So we'll show you that when we take the lid off. But uh, let's go ahead and let you see what she's going to be doing. All right, same old bench radio as always. We're going to show you the bird watch too after, so you'll have to bear with me and change around a couple of jumpers. Because uh, I just want you to see that, because I did show the eight transistor and bird watch y'all forgive me man i'm eyes feel like a hundred pound weights <laughs> a little bit less about two watts less than one i guess it's a uh, cold cold out here all right we're getting about 19 Point three watts. It's usually doing about twenty twenty one, but hey, who knows what's going on? She she she's just a little she's just a little on the weak side today. <laughs> All righty, nineteen point three watts is what we're gonna be putting into it. That is PEP. Okay. So we'll go ahead and turn it on by the remote in the back, just for demonstration purposes. This thing's going to stay good and cool, man. You'll be able to get on some good long keys with this thing, buddy. Get you a good fan on there, man. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and crank it all the way up. Two, 
Alrighty, man, this thing is stroking, dude. About 360 watts PEP. Ooh, we on high voltage too. Eh, we'll just leave it there. Man, I must be really tired, y'all. You know how crazy I am about the voltage. <laughs> I forgot to turn the volts down. 13.8. That's all good. All right, she's doing about three fifty three sixty. Two 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 the bird watch. We'll go ahead and just uh, leave it on 15.3. That's fine. I totally forgot about that. But uh, the reason why I did put a switch on here for the sideband is because the um, the the eight pill has automatic sideband. And one thing I've noticed: if you're running a driver that has automatic sideband as well, if you run a low dead key, a lot of the times it will not key either the driver up or it will key the driver. And have problems keying the eight bill. Usually, you have problems keying the driver up, and um, you know you'll because you'll have to bump your dead key. You know, some people like to run a really low dead key, and I've noticed sometimes you get two or three boxes in line, they all got automatic sideband. You got to bump your dead key up. So, uh, what I like to do, you know, if there's going to be a final box with automatic sideband, I'll go ahead and put a switch for the driver there if they want to run, you know, sideband with both there. So. That's why I went ahead and just threw the switch on the back, man. It's just quicker, easier to do. Instead of drill, drilling any right here on the front, you ain't got much room right here anyway. You know, I'd have had to drill two more holes. You know, just throw one in the back, man. You know, I know you just want this thing quick too, brother. So we went ahead and did what we had to do. All right, y'all bear with me one moment. This is one reason I did not show... Bird meter on the output side a lot is because of all the switching around I have to do. But we got a bird meter coming, y'all. Finally, so y'all you know, bear with me. jumper all righty all right we got us a uh, thousand watt slug let's go ahead and let that focus in there okay Thousand watt slug. Dude. All right, that's right there, about a hundred bird, maybe a tad over. Dude. Yeah. All right, that's right there at a hundred bird, which is good, man. That's very good, especially with just the drive that we're putting into it. That is very nice. Dude. Yeah. That's beautiful. Beautiful. So, you know, it's not doing as much bird watts as the driver that we were using in the video. But, brother, this thing will drive that eight real nicely, man. You know, what I was doing in that video pretty much was just kind of showing you what the top end of the uh, the 8 pill was. You know, that's pretty much what I'm doing in every video when I show the output of an amplifier, man. We're just kind of, you know, just letting you see what it's doing on the max end there. Let's go ahead and flip this off. Go ahead and hurry up. Video getting kind of long. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm running real slow tonight, man. I should have. I meant to get these videos done the day before yesterday. Got another video. One of them old hooker 100 bases. She's been a real naughty girl, man. I had to get in there and fix her right on up. 
I like using these Allens, man. It's just one of my personal preferences. I know some people probably don't like them much, but it's, you know, just one of my things I like. I love these Allen head screws. All right. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Remote. Turn the power off. Go ahead and unplug it. Okay, what I went ahead and done for you, brothers, I put a yellow plug on there like we talked about, okay? All right. Here she be. Go ahead and just kind of hold the case right here. All righty. All right, there she be right there. There's the uh, voltage regulator circuit if we can get that in there good I guess right now it'd be a good time to have that light on alrighty there she blows got you a good 5 watt resistor which I like to do default on the variable in this case, if somebody ever turns that thing down pretty low, it's not going to be as be as hard on it. Let's see if we can get this in the. Here's your miniature for the remote there. Got you some indi individual individual ferrite beads on there to make sure that no RF is going to pass through this remote on down your line. To the front of your car or to the Y mode or to the dual Y mode. That's another thing, man. Them Y modes and wireless remotes that I do, I can make them one channel, two channel, uh, three channel, four channel. So, I mean, you can have one wireless remote that controls your driver, your final, or you can have one wireless remote that controls one box but controls the power, preamp, and sideband on and off. So, you know, there's a lot of combinations you can do. I'm going to be working on one here real soon, too. It's just for a, just for a key down, boy. I'm going to dedicate that to Mr. Wind Maker. <laughs> Mr. Wind Maker, I got something uh, working on, buddy. In the shadows, going to be dedicated just for you, buddy. A little new y moat. I guess you can say version there, but just for the key down. Key down times, man. If you had two people using this particular Y mote, there'd be absolutely no way, 100% impossible for each of them to hurt e either or's radio. Because you, you press that dang button on that remote and go ahead and do your thing. One, 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 one. The second you let go of that button, your radio and your amp turns off. I mean, you can't beat that, man. Two people running it, they get to go, man. Alrighty, so there she goes. Just a good basic gatekeeper 21446, which is a which is a build that I love doing. I know you've seen me do quite a few of them. I'm a big fan of 1446s. Great sounding audio. I mean, they are still you know a linear transistor, but they're 50 megahertz max transistors. There's a little bit more headroom than a Toshiba megahertz range, and they just kind of tend to give that effect of having more modulation we'll call it that the effect of it so all righty man i hope you enjoy mr mud slinger hope you uh, drop many malls using this thing and that eight transistor amplifier buddy hope it brings you uh, many years of service and if you pass it on to anybody else in the future i hope it brings them many years of service man just one more device to hopefully help somebody enjoy this hobby further on. I hope you enjoy, buddy. It's Mr. Gatekeeper around Northeast. Joe! Oh, all right, John, I'm good and I'm gone. God bless.